Good morning. When politicians in the US finally stopped playing silly buggers with the economy, the whole world exhaled in relief. But it did remind me, as if we needed it, just how stupid people in politics can be. There is an absolutely brilliant clip on I Need You that was uploaded at the time of the last US presidential elections, which just about sums them up, even now. So look for presidential debate and watch it through to the end, though I warn you, it ends in tears. Mark Twain once said, never argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and then beat you with experience. Now, why does my daughter keep quoting that to me, I wonder? Anyway, not only a very appropriate quote in the US at the moment, but probably one of the many that Giles Brandreth has found and used in his new book, which is a collection of 50 years of quotes. Fantastic. It's in our top three of news uploads, so click through and look out for the story about a skill the Queen has, which I bet you would never, ever, ever, ever guess. One thing in the US that I'd really love to see over here, though, is the example of a bank called TD. OK, it's not a great name, but they have behaved beautifully during the recent shutdown because they gave all customers who needed it, well, in fact, whether they asked for it or not, a $1,000 overdraft facility at a charge-out rate of no, no, you have to go and have a look for yourself. It's easy to find though because it's the story with a big green dollar all over it. Now, also in the US, and it is the last one, there's an executive coach in the US called Brian Tracy who says, successful people are always looking for opportunities to help others. Unsuccessful people are always asking, what's in it for me? And the really great news is that there is empirical evidence that supports the idea that success isn't just warm, fluffy, fuzzy stuff but it actually relates to cold, hard cash in your pocket, which I guess means that today we've all got a choice. In fact, we've got a choice every day. Do you want to be successful or do you not? If doing the right thing in itself doesn't motivate you, just think about your bank balance. And two funnies to end today on. One is the story of a man trying to take a horse on a train. I kid you not, a normal, regular train. Or if you prefer, the Pony Express. I know, I'm sorry, but I just couldn't resist it. But the real funny comes from the man himself, because when he's told he can't take a horse on the train, he says, but it's not a horse, it's just a pony. <laughs> Obviously, well, that's all right then. And finally, it's something to really tickle your funny bone. I have long since realised, like I'm sure all of you have, that techies are an entirely different breed of people to you and I. I say no more than that, not only because we've got one coming into the family, but I just want to point you in the direction of an outrageously funny video entitled Funny Tech Support. I'm going to go and answer the phone while you stay and laugh. Enjoy it and I'll see you next week.